May is Celiac Awareness Month, a disease that is not uncommon here in Canada. In fact, the Canadian Celiac Association says 1 in 100 people are affected by this disease. On today's show, we're at Lita's, a whole food gluten and nut-free cafe created by a local physician, and we're about to find out why. But first, here's a look at what else is coming up. Dr. Maltman explains celiac disease and how far research has come and it's a one-stop shop for vulnerable members of our community, we stop by the second annual YXC Connects. We're there to bring it home. Shaw TV, your local voice. When the sun is shining this summer, you can come check out Lita's outdoor patio for a refreshing glass of organic gluten-free beer. And then you can head to the park to take in a some theater production, as Simon Hyatt tells us in our first story. The members of some theater have always marched to the beat of a different drum. Now this summer, as they return for a fourth year of staging plays outdoors in a constantly changing venue, they will be encouraging attendees to do the same. That will be the craft this summer, not just at St. Francis today, but all summer long. You can come out to theater in the park and make your own drum before the performance so you can join in and participate in the performance. We at some theater believe that theater is a participatory act, so get ready to be involved. The chance to make a drum is just one of the unique experiences some theater goers will have. Another is that plays are completely free. Students from St. Francis School in the Cree Bilingual Program helped the group launch their 2016 season, which will feature Little Badger and the Fire Spirit, A Story of Our Land, based on a story by Maria Campbell. How the natural world, the human world, uh, and, and the spirit world are all connected. And Theatre in the Park, at its essence, is about community and bringing people together and bringing communities together. But community just doesn't stop at people. It's about our relationship with the, the whole entire world, the environment as well. And while some theater is being a friend to the environment with this production, the environment doesn't always return the favor at their outdoor shows. You've got the, the weather, you've got airplanes flying above, uh, but actually the challenges turn themselves very quickly into opportunities. So we always ask ourselves, what can we do outside that we can't do inside? really it allows us to flex our creative muscles in a way that we never have before. Previous seasons have seen productions of Alice in Wonderland, The Pied Piper and Hercules. More than 7,000 people came out to parks across the city in 2015, helping fuel the cast and crew during an intense grind that sees them perform 25 shows in a month, including setup and teardown every day. It's amazing how much energy you get back from the audience. Yes, it's tiring to do a show. It's even more tiring to do a show in a park. However, when you've got hundreds and then thousands coming to your show, you get an amazing amount of adrenaline from that positive energy coming back at you. For a complete schedule of shows and where they will be playing, visit sometheater.com. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt. 1% of Canadians have celiac disease and that rate is continually growing. May is Celiac Awareness Month and that's why we are hanging out at Lita's, a great cafe here in Saskatoon. Joining me right now is the owner of this cafe, Dr. Maltman. Uh, Dr. Maltman, our DD, uh, what is celiac disease? Well, Janella, celiac disease is an autoimmune condition, and that's where the body sort of turns against itself. It is um, where we lose the ability to break down the gluten in wheat, oats, rye, and barley. Oats, if they're contaminated, which most of them are. Okay. So it has uh, been an interesting ride watching this over the decades. I was diagnosed with celiac disease in my 20s, and I'm in my 50s. And the diagnosing process is very different now, and our understanding of it is very different, and actually in the last few years with new information coming out about the gut microbiome we're starting to really understand the underlying mechanisms of autoimmune disease and there's uh, lots of great hope for more deeper understanding and treatment. 
Exactly, and you did mention it. You were diagnosed with celiac disease many years ago, and it's actually a uh, disease that hits close to home for your entire family. Uh, tell us why you opened Lita's and why you called it Lita's. Ah, well, I'm 31 years a family doctor, yes. and I went back to school in 2010 to become an integrative specialist, and that's where we take my beloved traditional medicine and combine it with alternative and complementary teachings and techniques, those that have science behind them, and, and really take a mind-body-spirit approach to each patient mm -hmm. but there's a huge focus on how we feed our body in that program and I grew up in the hotel and restaurant industry in Regina never yeah. thought I'd be back here and <laughs> here I am but when I saw the power of being able to teach people through the restaurant setting because so many people eat out mm -hmm. what really constitutes whole foods mm -hmm. what really um, how should we be cooking our foods what oil should we be using we do some teaching here and um, on the nights that we're closed and it became a very big passion for me because it's so important We've sort of really over the last however many decades not given a lot of thought that food was that important, it was calories or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's that quality of food, where it's come from, how much fiber we're getting, which feeds these microbes that the science is all about. For instance, turmeric. It's a very traditional East Indian spice and it's like nature's anti-inflammatory. Very, very powerful anti-inflammatory. I used to have it occasionally in my life when I'd have Indian food, maybe a few times a year. I have it every day now. I put it a teaspoon in my smoothie. It's like it's like taking an Advil, really, and there's great research on it. So we have a we incorporate that in many of our dishes. Um, we'll have some Ayurvedic soup in a few minutes, and it's it's all these traditional spices that come together to help the body heal. And so how common is celiac disease here in Saskatchewan? Well, we've always said that about 1% of the population have celiac or the potential for celiac. A lot of people are undiagnosed. Now, the, the diagnosing has come a long way. We have a, a really great blood test that's probably 90 some percent sensitive and specific and then we have biopsies to back that up and that's come a long way so we're really good now um, at diagnosing it in general the thing that's really different though when I went through medical school in the 80s there were a handful of symptoms that if the patient had those right. that you would maybe think on the differential diagnosis could it be celiac yeah. there's now 300 and some symptoms identified wow. that can be traced back to celiac and not all of them of course are to do with the gut mm -hmm. you know some people present with things like migraines or skin rashes or other things that you know autoimmunity on general is on the rise MS uh, type 1 diabetes Hashimoto's disease to do with the thyroid and we're starting to understand there's a common element going on and I always say to pay people there's more questions than answers right now but it's a very much stay tuned on all this gut research the human gut microbiome project and I lecture on all of this because it's fascinating and yeah. it's making sense to people but in the end it all goes back to a lot of the things we've known have been important we need high fiber foods we need less stress we need you know to really rethink environmental chemicals affecting us all of these things affect our microbes in our gut so mm. it's a fun time in medicine <laughs> It's a fun. I love how passionate you are. That's it's making me really uh, fascinated with this topic. And she did mention it. We are going to try some of these dishes and really get to know what whole foods can taste like. They look delicious. So it's going to be a good time here at Lita's throughout today's show. You better stay tuned because we'll be right back after the break. Punch TV is the nerdiest show in Saskatoon. If you like comics, movies, games, stellar events, and anything in geekdom, you'll love Punch TV. Host Jody Kaysen takes you in-depth with artists, writers, and guests from across the province, the world, heck, even the galaxy. Plus, regular updates from The Collector, The Movie Geek, and Tweetbeat. Watch Punch TV only on Shaw TV. Still to come, we meet a local author whose new book takes us back in time to the golden age of Hollywood, and we discover how delicious gluten-free dishes can be. It's where you live. Shaw TV, your local voice. It was a dream for Dr. Maltman to create a restaurant dedicated to those wanting to eat whole foods after she was diagnosed with celiac disease many years ago. Earlier this week, we stopped by an event also designed with a specific group in mind. YXC Connects was a one-stop shop for vulnerable members of our community. Haircuts, 
physiotherapy and massages are just a few services offered at this year's YXC Connects, the second year for this event here in Saskatoon. Joining me right now is Justin, and he is one of the organizers of this event. Justin, I know this is an event that happens throughout Canada. Why bring this event here to Saskatoon? Well, I think there's clearly a need for it. I mean, we've been so heartened to see over a thousand community members come through the doors today. Um, so I, I think, you know, any city could use this type of setup where you've got services coming to one place for people to access. It's a really good model. Exactly. So what is the purpose of this event? I mentioned uh, three very cool uh, services. You have massages, you have th physiotherapy. People can come here and get IDs. There's pretty much anything and everything you need here. Why have this event? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a one-day service fair, and we, we've got 70 service providers here today providing services on-site or connecting with community members. And it's really about breaking down barriers that people face in accessing services. I mean, this event goes to show how many amazing services we have in Saskatoon, but they can be difficult to access. People have issues with transportation and accessibility. So bringing it all into one place just makes it accessible, and it's meant to be yeah, a barrier-free kind of day for people. Do you see that need here in Saskatoon? Do you see a lot of community members not able or not knowing what services are out there? I think so. I, I had one, one woman come up to me this morning as she was leaving and, and she wanted to thank the organizers. She said that coming here today had saved her three weeks worth of bus trips and, and she could fill out all the paperwork she needed and, and get the services that she needed in a couple hours in one morning. So she really appreciated that. Perfect. All right, now let's name some of the other uh, services that you have here because like I mentioned, I think it's pretty cool that you brought them all to one location. What are people really enjoying of the services that you're offering? I think haircuts are always yeah. super popular. I mean, it's pretty hot outside now, so people are, are really after that. Uh, massage therapy has been, has been super popular. Uh, we've got the library here giving out new library cards. Service Canada issuing social insurance numbers and the main thing that, that we want people to get out of it is to connect with service providers, be able to put faces to names and, and just feel more comfortable accessing those services. So it's been really good that way. Is there a website that community members can go to get all this information in one go? Yeah, I think social media is the best place to find us. We're on Facebook and Twitter uh, as YXC Connects. Um, so if you check us out on there, you can get connected. All right, Justin. Well, I've got a lot of looking around to do. Like I mentioned, so many great services here. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. Lita's Cafe on 20th Street incorporates whole foods, is gluten-free and nut-free, and has so many different options for community members. Joining me again is the owner, Dee Dee Maltman. Uh, Dee Dee, what do we have in front of us? It looks absolutely fantastic. Well, all of our houses, all of our food is uh, prepared in-house, mm -hmm. and we try to use as much local as we can, as much organic as we can, and this is one of our signature, signature dishes. It's our Ayurvedic soup, so it incorporates that healing spice turmeric and other spices it's been the thing that has defined Lita's we once took it off the menu we change our menu every few months and okay. people were like no <laughs> so we had to bring it right back and so it's a beautiful beautiful full-bodied soup with all sorts of gorgeous vegetables in it um, but there's all these wonderful spices these healing spices then this is our kale salad mm -hmm. um, kale is a really interesting vegetable there's a scale called the Andy scale A-N-D-I aggregate nutrient density index and it's from zero to a thousand thousand being the best amount like the highest amount of nutrients soda pop for instance has a has a score of zero uh, I would broccoli it would be somewhere in the 700s and kale is the highest on that it's a thousand so it has incredible dense nutrients in it and it's paired with a bit of hemp parts protein and some lovely organic parmesan these are labor of love dishes for us that were very important to bring in the concepts from um, the pamphlet that we have, this anti-inflammatory pyramid, and also really showcasing how we cook the food back there. I mean, people don't know how food is prepared, and mm -hmm. that's very important to us. We don't have a deep fryer. We don't use any chemical line, non-stick pans. Mm -hmm. um, we use the right oils, things that don't inflame our body. We use a lot of, you know, organic extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Um, our dairy, where we do use dairy, is organic, and things that are really very important to me, um, how I would want to eat, mm -hmm. knowing that what I know. And so it's been a, a wonderful journey creating these recipes with our talented staff to incorporate all of these teachings. And I find those who uh, have to watch what foods they eat are concerned to even go out to certain restaurants because of cross-contamination, but here that's not an issue. Yeah, we don't have any gluten or nuts on the premises. so. Yeah. 
we've had people, oh, all the time people talk about they're so thrilled. Um, mm -hmm. We've had people in tears that can't actually believe that it's true and really? little kids that come in that can pick anything off the menu and of course that warms the parents' heart because mm -hmm. it's it's such a minefield um, out there and so, yeah, um, you know, there's no gluten on the premises, there's no nuts on the premises and uh, and also we, we cater to a wide range of people's needs. We have vegan and vegetarian options and for those meat lovers we have some great uh, organic beef out of Alberta, we have other Saskatchewan products, bison, we kind of cross the prairies, our hemp parts are from Manitoba nice. and we try to do as much local, local Saskatchewan, Saskatoon as we can too. Yeah. Fresh, local it is absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. We'll be right back after the break. Punch TV, it's the nerdiest show on the airwaves, featuring artists, geeks, and special guests who love comics, toys, and pop culture. Watch Punch TV, only on Shaw TV. Lita's Cafe has many customers dealing with celiac disease, so before we learn about the health benefits of the many dishes served here at Lita's, here's Simon Hyatt with a look at a unique event celebrating a local author's 18th book. The popcorn is popped, the lights are dimmed, it's almost showtime. That's right, it's time to read a book. Douglas Fairbanks too. Charlie Chaplin is a good friend of his. I wanted to read from the book and give them an idea of what the story's about. And plus, you know, as a student, I mean, I remember, it's a long time ago for me, but going to school, it was kind of fun to go on a trip and go somewhere else, and especially in a place that smells like popcorn, and learn about other things. Author Arthur Slade decided to launch his latest young adult book, Flickers in Style, with a silent film-themed event at the Roxy Theatre, and of course, some appropriate duds. I decided to wear this because, of course, the being set in the 1920s and it was the roaring 20s and everybody dressed up back then and had parties and all that sort of thing, I thought, well, I better not wear blue jeans to this because people would kind of look down at me. So I wanted to wear something that was traditional from the times and, and even got my hair cut that way too. The choices fit the book well, as it grew out of an idea he had about an old Hollywood director whose innovation changed everything. I just have this image of him making, uh, making this uh, film, a horror, scary movie, that when people watched it, and it would be the first film with sound, that when people watched it and heard the main character scream, it would be such a, a powerful scream that it would open up a new dimension and then something would walk through. Hundreds of school-aged students were able to attend the launch and meet the author. And while most had likely never heard of, let alone seen a silent movie, Slade hopes the event and his book may give them an appreciation for Hollywood's origins. I have to admit, before I started writing this book, I, I was kind of all silent films, are, you know, not that exciting. But once I started watching them, and when you watch quite a few of them, and you learned about the characters behind and their stories, like all these amazing actors, then it became, it became much more interesting to me. And that's the interest that I have is what I'm hoping to get across to them. And Slade may soon be getting the big screen treatment himself. He recently landed a movie deal for his book series, The Hunchback Assignments. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt. This is one of the best parts of my job, getting to try all sorts of great dishes in our community, including our time here at Lita's Cafe right on 20th Street. Uh, we've mentioned it, you know, there's such a wide variety of dishes here for community members, and you can see that from the smorgasbord in front of us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your mussels, because I know that's a bit of a signature dish. Yes, well, our chef, of course, is from Spain, and, and you know, we have to have a lot of seafood on it. So this is our green curry mussels made with chickpeas. It's a very big hit. We have specialty nights. We have burger night, wine night. We have a curry night, uh, or our, our muscle night, I mean. And so we pair it with things like this beautiful fresh salad, a quinoa salad and our bread. And this is one of our pizzas. I mean, if there's something, somebody that has issues with uh, gluten and celiac, there's just certain things that you... Um, so this is Lita's fave pizza. And whenever we say Lita's fave, it actually is Dee Dee's fave. <laughs> and so there's beautiful mushrooms on there and cheese and a thin gluten-free. And then our, our wines, we have a lot of organic organic and biodynamic options and we have beers and ciders that are gluten free and it's great to see that a dietary dish can really be anything and can be an enjoyable meal an enjoyable dish oh, incredible i mean food is is our life every day we have to eat it's for celebrations it's it's very very um, important to people and for us to be able to allow people to eat in peace, uh, whether they have a nut allergy or problems with gluten, but just eat in peace knowing that um, 
we've worked hard to source some really good food for your body. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important too. I mean, um, so yes, we cater to people that have specialty uh, problems with mm -hmm. certain foods, and we, you know, we work hard. People that come in that have any kind of an allergy mm -hmm. to give them something that will make them feel. But I think also it's really been fun to watch this. Um, this science coming along, and this is a really important book that I'd like to recommend. It's by Justin and Erica Sonnenberg. They're researchers out of Stanford University, okay. and it's called The Good Gut, and it's this new science on the gut microbiome and understanding that we just need more fiber in our diet and other things in our lives that are really um, not creating a, a, a healthy environment for the microbes that are working so hard in our guts to bring us health. And there's recipes at the back, and I've listened to them at a few conferences. There's a lot of information out there now, but this is a good starting point to understand what more can we do at this point. What should we try? There's such a selection well, here. Why don't you dip into, have a muscle with some of the green curry at the bottom, a piece of pizza, and then of course a little taste of all so the So a little bit of everything <laughs> is what Dee Dee's saying. Yeah, all right, can. but you have to dig in with me here, Dee Dee. So yeah, I'm not okay. the only one eating on camera. <laughs> well, here's the spoon. Thank you. Um, here's a little secret for you. I've never had muscles, so well, there you is go. this Be how sure I knew you it? Get some green cream. Yes, okay. you're going And then get some okay. of the sauce down here at the bottom with it. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, you know, a lot of people dip the bread mm. in the curry sauce. and Bon appetit. A bit of kale mixed in. Oh yeah, this is something that flies out of here every day. I believe it. Mm. What do you think? This carrot cake is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's one of the, it's it's a favorite at the restaurant. Although all the desserts yeah. you know, <laughs> go over really well. Yeah. And all your desserts, again, gluten-free, not free? All gluten-free, not free, and always using the most whole food ingredients we can. We try to choose our sweeteners, like more of uh, maple syrup or coconut or dates, um, mm. you know, organic dairy, if they do have dairy, and then that's a coconut whipped cream. This mm. is a very light ricotta blueberry cheesecake, and then, we have these beautiful energy balls that are made with dates and seeds and coconut and cacao. Oh. And then our muffins that disappear every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're really, they've been a real big hit. They've been with us since the beginning. They're a whole food muffin. And every day they change just a little bit. Sometimes they are got chocolate chips in them, which is what my family likes. And now this one does have, sometimes they'll have fruit or whatever. It's a bit of a surprise. So, yeah, yeah. This energy ball is a lot of people run in and take that out, get some through, help yeah, get them through the Yeah, it's convenient, right? Yeah. You can yeah. just grab it. Well, all this looks amazing. All the food I've tried today it was absolutely amazing. I had no idea it would be uh, a dietary specific food. Yeah. So thank you so much for having us here well, at Thanks Lita's. for coming in. It's yeah. been fun to feed you. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll come anytime, Dee Dee. So. You just got to let us know. All right. Well, that wraps up our celiac awareness show from Lita's Cafe. Uh, with the celiac diagnoses doubling over the past 25 years, it's clear that many Canadians face uh, a struggle or a challenge when it comes to eating certain foods. So it's great to see cafes like Lita's catering to that need and just having all around delicious dishes. So again, Didi, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Had a great time. And thank you for educating us a bit on this disease yeah. because it is complex. And like you said, it is uh, increasing over the years. So. It is. And I, I, you know, to do a to bring the latest research here to Saskatoon, having yeah. that open discussion all the time. Yeah. It's a passion. All right. Well, if you want to learn more about celiac disease, make sure you go to celiac.ca. Of course, come and stop by Lita's right on 20th Street or check out Lita's.com. We'll see you next time.